This is a folio sized collection of six individual pieces of music that were recovered from the spines of uh, three books. This music is 800 year old Cistercian charm music. Um, many differences obviously with modern music. Um, there are only four lines instead of five um, on the staff. Um, there are a few, a few things we'd recognize. That, for example, right there, that's a B flat notation. That's in effect a bass clef, an F clef. Um, but there are a lot of things that have disappeared and you know just aren't part of music anymore. So, for example, this here, that's what's known as a liquescent neum. Um, the analysis of this is ongoing. We think that the majority of the musical fragments like this were probably related to the Feast of Agatha, but we're not quite sure in terms of what this is. Um, this down here is a um, section marker of some kind. Uh, that actually had the um, XVI, it's a little bit offset here, but XVI is sort of Roman numeral, so some kind of um, sort of section marker within the original uh, antiphona that this uh, came from here. Walk around to the other side. That's really more, more of that music. The uh, parchment's a little translucent, so you see some of the music on the other side showing through as well. A few things to note. This here is a double stacked scandicus. In other words, this would actually have been a sequence of four notes that would have been sung together. So this isn't a modern chord. Instead, this would have been a rapid sequence of notes going upwards. Um, um, here it is actually, uh, you can see just how complex the singing would have been. The word et, meaning and in Latin. You've got all these notes going down and then up and up and, you know, etc. This really illustrates well just how different written music was 800 years ago to how modern music would look. Um, and I think, you know, we don't fully understand how all of this would have sounded, to be honest. We think we know most of it, but not completely all. There we go.